I'm so fed up with this whole situation here of all this prepping and stuff. I'm running out all this room. I don't know what to do. This is just getting ridiculous. What are we going to do? I mean, the prepping thing is just getting so overwhelming, lost space and everything else. Where am I going to put all this kind of stuff? What am I going to do? What is the situation? Thanks for being here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I think I may have a solution to my problem. We're going to put together another shelf. That's right, folks. We're going to put together another shelf and try to get this thing to work and try to make things seem like they're supposed to. Seems like, you know, you start prepping and everything and you just run out of all this room. I just don't know what to do. This is just getting insane. What in the world did I get myself into? I just, I tell you, I've prepped and prepped and prepped. But now I don't have room. And what are we going to do? Just throw it out the door? No, we can't do that. So we're going to be putting this shelf together today. And hopefully, you all are going to watch a little bit of this video. I'm going to speed up some of this stuff so you can see me putting this shelf together. And let's see if we can't get me back into this prepping thing. Because this is just getting out of control. So until we meet again on the other side, well, we'll see you there. And you know what? Maybe we can all still survive and keep prepping and stay in the game. Hey, well, look, we're finally all done. Got the shelves put together on this shelf here, put this shelf together, got everything moved, reorganized exactly by dates and everything else. So the dates are the longest, which are running between like 24 and 25, you know, 2024, 2025 are all in the back and the dates that are coming up sooner than that. Uh, most of them are all uh, 21, are all in the front. Rotated, that's a major thing. When you're rotating your stock or when you're redoing your pantry or when you're redoing anything, make sure that you rotate your stock. You're looking at the dates. Yes, it is very time consuming. You know, it took me uh, a day to get everything put together, everything moved, reset back up, go through all the dates, make sure that everything is looking good and is in order so that I'm using the oldest product first because I use mine as a working pantry. Now I'm going to give you some close-up shots here in a second and um, I do have all my buckets and stuff are all over here now. Um, this container system here has a lot of different, all different types of products and stuff that are in there. None of it is food products. It's a lot of uh, um, all different types of survival things and everything else. The very bottom one does have batteries and stuff in it. Um, so that I keep all that stuff stored in there. This shelf here mainly is all canned goods. 
Uh, this shelf will hold 360 pounds per shelf. Um, so that's really good. It is quite the pain in the neck to put together. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it went together pretty easy, as you did see earlier in the video. I've had this shelf for a while. I like these kind of shelves. The only problem is, is, you know, they have the, just the wire. So when you're trying to put your canned goods, this is the problem I ran into. When you're trying to put your canned goods onto these shelves, they want to teeter and fall and stuff. And it got to be a real pain in the neck. Like if you bump this thing, you know, you'd always have a can or two fall. So that's why I wanted to get a shelf that had a solid base, which I would highly suggest for your canned goods. And this way here, you can stack them right up and you don't have to worry about them all falling over. So I'm going to get you a little bit closer. I really appreciate you joining me for this video and everything else. I'm going to give you some close-up shots of this and what's going on over here. And we'll take it from there. So this is the new shelf that I put together in this video. To get the shelf from Walmart. So I start off on the top and stuff. You know, I've got all different types of extra products. My butters. Um, I put my Spam and Vienna sausages are up here. Uh, maple syrup. Barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, and then we can drop down. You've got your tomato products, all your different types of tomatoes, paste, corned beef hash. Yes, everybody likes corned beef hash. Chili, beans, spaghetti sauce. Let me drop down to the vegetable aisle. You know, I've got green beans, spinach, uh, carrots, peas, zucchini. Um, corn and then canned potatoes and then we drop down to this shelf and we've got more beans chicken broth soups soups are really great folks because this way here your cream of soups you can you can make all kinds of dishes with your rice and everything else olives beets cranberry sauce water chestnuts and then on the bottom shelf here you got beef and roni spaghettios uh, beef stew uh, my keystone ground beef then I have my canned turkey, roast beef, uh, beef strips, pulled pork, tuna fish, chicken, hams, sardines. So right now over here, we've got our dry goods. Mostly all our dry goods. So at the top, you know, I've got my dry powdered milk. Um, these are all more of my freeze-dried foods. Uh, Four Patriots, Mountain House, all those. Um, my seeds, which you want to make sure that you always have plenty of. Then down here is with more dry goods. Mac and cheese, pastas, Belvitas, coffee, all this kind of stuff. We get down here, got some more beans and stuff I got to put away. Oh, look at that. Look at all that rice. Yes, that's coming up on a video on Friday, folks. So make sure you turn in for that. And then I've started buying... Augustine's Farm products and uh, in the number 10 cans and then I store emergency three cases of small water down here and then over here is just my I got 12 buckets that are over here I always keep my emergency 72 hour kit bucket that I built she did a video on you guys go back and watch that very simple to do, made my own kit, and I keep it right in the front here so that I can grab that and go at any point in time and it's not buried in the back or something. So, this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you all for joining me on my little build, remodel. Everything is organized now how it should be and everything is good to go. Now I just got to keep adding to the stock if I can get some of these products. Shelves are still kind of scarce in my area. Till next time, folks. You all stay safe, keep prepping, thrive to survive, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.